What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I'd like to talk about Diablo 4, which is something that I've recently got back into playing since Season 4, The Loot Reborn kind of update was released. Now I played Diablo 4 when it was first released, um, when the game first came out, but after the first couple seasons I kind of stepped away from it because it just was not that enjoyable. Now of course Loot Reborn uh, came out just a few days back on May the 14th, and I had really been enjoying the seasonal content and every every change really the development team made they've talked a lot about it and one of the first things they talked about was kind of the main sources of feedback areas for improvements they said diablo 4 is all about awesome loot and they wanted to take a step back and think how they could do and make the loot experience have more customization they said they've cleaned up the experience and streamlined things so players are slaying demons more and parsing their loot less and we all know in the past it felt like that's all you were ever doing it's kind of just finding a piece of gear maybe you know making some changes to it but you felt like you were just always chasing that next piece of gear and that gets kind of tedious for some players they may not have the time to do that and they have made this a lot simpler now you can go in right now you can rank up very quickly play hell tides even in world tier one so you can play hell tides from world tier one to world tier four and after just playing for the last couple days uh, I have my new seasonal character already to 62. So you rank up very, very quickly. It's not as slow as it was in the past. But they did make a lot of changes to itemization in the game in general with things like tempering the codex of power, greater affixes, uh, or affixes, and of course, master working. They said they wanted to make things easier to understand, but also make gear and, and things feel you know more powerful. So if you can visit the blacksmith station now, and have greater affixes which provides players with the higher value versions of the normal affixes available exclusively on world tier 4. The combination of those features should help players customize a piece of gear to fit their specific build. Also this they want to make gear a bit simpler so you can understand it with things just like plus strength plus crit chance. Uh, things like that are very easy for a player to see and go kind of you know they want to get that they want it they can understand it a little bit easier that's kind of what the developers have been talking about in addition to shifting the complexity of itemization to the tempering system diablo 4 season 4 is also updating the codex of power and this is one thing that i really have enjoyed while playing to allow players to keep the best version of a legendary aspect permanently in their codex imprinting imprinting it on any weapon they find after obtaining it master working is another new feature that allows players to further upgrade after they have been imprinted on an item to optimize their build's potential. Of course, they also uh, introduced a new thing called the pit, which I have not had a chance to play yet, but it does look like it is very interesting. Uh, the pit is a Diablo 4 dungeon for kind of an in-game player or players to put their build to the test against some of the game's most powerful monsters so not only have they made changes to kind of how you know your gear works and ways that you can upgrade your gear and making gear easier to understand they've also added these new things in of course like i said the pit and they've also updated the hell tides hell tides are going to give players a great reason to spend time outside of dungeons and they said that's what they were going for uh, hell tides will feature uh, accursed rituals which summon a new mini boss type known as a blood maiden for players to battle and this is kind of where you find everyone no matter if you're in world tier one or world tier four once that blood maiden is out you kind of see it on the map there and these hell tides come out very often i think they have like a five or ten minute cooldown if i'm right so they're up very often and you will see people just farming this blood maiden and ranking up extremely quickly and that is one thing that has made it very enjoyable to me. Yes, there's still a grind there. You're trying to find that perfect piece that you want for your particular build. But with all the new ways to kind of upgrade gear and also a, a lot of ways to farm your kind of XP, uh, it's made the game enjoyable again to me. And like I said, that was one reason that I stepped away from playing Diablo 4 after the couple, you know, first couple of seasons because I felt like there was just too much of a grind and I really didn't have time personally uh, between doing YouTube, going to work, uh, and my real job in real life. It's just kind of hard to balance that. And they've seemed to make, uh, or they seem to make Diablo 4 more enjoyable because it does not take 
all the time that it used to to grind out gear and rank up. Like I said, I've only been playing for the last couple days. Uh, this is something you can hop on on the weekends and rank up very quickly. So if you've not given if you've not given Diablo for a you know kind of second look since the last time you played, you might want to go in and try the game now that season four is out. I see the player bases. There's a lot of players running around in game. Uh, I've been seeing a lot more people in there than I did, you know, the last time I played. But it's very enjoyable. Of course, it's still a bit of a grind to find those perfect pieces of gear. But at the same time, uh, it does not feel as grindy as it was in the past. And like I said, you can rank up very quickly. And you can make multiple characters this season. Because that is how fast you can progress a character's level right now doing these hell tides. You can just farm hell tides with any character. Uh, get a group of friends together, whatever, clan mates. And have a really good time, uh, you know, enjoying the game now because it seems like a lot of these changes have really improved Diablo. And some people are even saying it has saved Diablo 4 from kind of just dying off because a lot of people felt like that the game really didn't have much of a player base anymore and that it was probably not going to make it much further into the year. As we all know, after a game has so many updates, if people just don't enjoy it, they quit playing. And then, of course, the player base pretty much just completely dies off. And so far with the Diablo 4 Season 4, it seems like a lot of the player base is coming back. We'll have to see if they can continue with these updates in the future. Leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.